All right, here I am. I'm going to try to explain a little bit about uh, how I got to come in a master electrician by the age of 24. Um, so this video is going to be for anyone that really wants to get to the point of a master electrician as soon as possible. I'm going to tell you how I did it and you know if you want to do it the exact same way, you can. Um, I'll let you know there probably are other ways. There might be even better ways, um, but this is just the way that I've done it and I try to do it as fast as I possibly could. When I was 18 years old, I was going to community college. I was working at a wood wood shop factory that I just absolutely despised. I hated working there. It was miserable. Uh, so I wanted to become an electrician. I was like, all right, uh, why am I going to college? Um, I don't really need to go to college to become an electrician. So why was I doing it? So I dropped out of college. I... I was like, all right, I want to become an electrician. Let me do everything that I possibly can to become an electrician. At the time, I was living in Oregon. And in Oregon, it's such a heavily unionized state that to me at the time, it felt like the union was the only real way of becoming an electrician. And the way that they have it set up was if you want to become an apprentice electrician is you have to get accepted into a school. Uh, the school that I wanted to go to was the it was the closest one to me, and their process was I had to take an aptitude test. After that, I had to go into an interview against twelve people. Like twelve people were interviewing me at eighteen years old. Twelve people interviewing me, asking me questions, and and you know, all this, uh, by the way, like I had like no work experience. I I had, I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing there. Um, I was just trying to become a, an apprentice and it was, it was just so intimidating. But after that interview and everything else, they put me on a list and I think I was like just under 300 list of, of candidates. And every single month they told me they allow 12 people per month to go um, into the school. So each month, um, you pretty much will go down their list um, as potential candidates. And then every two years, if you haven't been accepted, every two years, you have to redo everything and get re-put back on the list. So, you know, I did, I did some quick maths. It wasn't going to work out. So I was like, all right, well, I don't want to wait two years in order to just even get this journey started. I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to wait that long. And I came across the option to move to Texas. And in Texas, it's a right to work state. Like all I had to do was pay $35 and they would give me my apprentice card. Uh, from there, all I had to do was get hired on by an electrical company that has a master electrician who would sign off on my work hours. So I, I did that. I did that. I got my apprentice license and I started looking for a job. And eventually I came across a company called IES Residential. And what they were offering me was to work at their electrician school that they had. It was everything that they had in-house. Um, like they owned the school. It was just purely pretty much meant for their company. And I would work for their school, taking their classes, helping out when you know if there was a class i've already taken um and they had other people coming in to take that class i would help them out and any uh any other downtime was either working in the warehouse or wiring up uh some houses all over the place they actually took us to las vegas for a couple weeks to wire in some houses there so i did i did some work out in las vegas that was great uh, i absolutely loved it because i was like well man you want to pay me to go to class Sweet, uh, sign me up. I was all about it. I did that, and it was it was great. And for about six months there, I worked, uh, I worked at their school. So they uh, passed me on to a division that you know IES owns. I started working underneath their at the at the time their best foreman. And to this day, I still talk to this foreman. He, he he's helped me out a lot. Uh, he's also a master electrician. I worked for him, underneath him, for about another six months. 
And then an opportunity came across where the where IES was just like, hey, do you want to move up to Virginia and start running some jobs up there, uh, wiring up some apartment complexes, being the foreman, uh, just kind of being the head of all that. And at first I was like, no, <laughs> uh, I was like, I don't want to move all the way across the country um, to an area that I've never even been at that time. I think if you were to tell me, like, ask me, like, hey, can you point out where Virginia is on a map? I would have been like, um, it's somewhere on the East Coast. I don't know. <laughs> and then later on, I, uh, sit in bed and I was thinking to myself, and I was like, man, why not? Like, what's really holding me back? And to make things short, it was just pretty much like, man, I'm young what's the worst that can happen? I was like, oh, you know, maybe I fail and maybe I have to move back. Eh? Oh, well. The next morning I went back and I was like, you know what? Actually, yeah, I do. I do want to go up to Virginia. I do. I, 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 want, I want to give it a shot. And so they sent me up here. And that's where I currently am. I'm currently in Virginia. I've, I've, I've been building apartment complexes all throughout Virginia. And when it came down to I had enough uh, work hours to qualify for my journeyman's test I took it as soon as I possibly could so in Texas to qualify for your journeyman you can qualify for your journeyman's at three and a half years worth of work experience um, you can just qualify and test now I don't think they actually give you your license until you've worked the full four years I had my journeyman's test passed had my license right, well what do I have to do to get my master's license in Virginia and they give you like three main options. Option one was to be out in the electrical field for 10 years. Option two was go to a four year school. And then option three was all you had to do was have your journeyman's license in good standing for one year. And by the time I like, like was looking into all of this, I was already like at that one year, I was nearing it, that one year of holding my license. So I sent in all the information and sure enough, I qualified for it. And I was like, all right, well, now all I have to do is pass the master's test. <laughs> but I took it really serious. Uh, you know, the first time I took the journeyman's test, I had a, a lot of the anxiety. I feel like I was a little underprepared. And I told myself, I was like, this time, I'm gonna be 100% ready. I'm gonna be locked in, I'm ready to go. And, and for seven weeks straight, I was I was taking practice tests. I was watching YouTube videos of of problem solving electrical code issues, and I, I was I was fully enveloped in learning. Once I finished that last question and I saw that pass, I was like, "Holy crap! Wow!" You know, my my perspective of and, and my plans of my life dramatically changed at, at that point because I thought I always wanted to start my own business, but I didn't think I was going to be able to get to that point until I was close to my th like 30 years old. I was like, man, I'm only 24 and I just passed my master's. So I was like, what's the next step? Well, next step is just to start a business. Um, and start building up clientele and start generating revenue and, and hopefully hire on more people and, and then, well, I haven't got to that point yet. <laughs> you know, I'm still in the early stages of, of creating the business. Um, and so far it's been going pretty well for me. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what I've been able to accomplish so far with the business. Um, I, you know, I definitely, I definitely want more and, and I think I can definitely get more. I really want to hire on people. I want to hire good people and, and provide them a good living. I really hope I can show some of the younger people, the younger generation, like that being, becoming an electrician is, is a good path to go. It's a hundred percent a good path to go. And all the requirements to become a master electrician, it, it, it's not as daunting as, as it seems, and that if you if you really dedicate yourself to it, and if you really enjoy the craft, then you know you could you could be like me, where you leave high school and six years later, you're 24 and you're a master electrician starting his own business. That's how I managed to get my master's electrician license at the age of 24. Um, thank you, thank you for listening to this probably 
extremely long video. I would be shocked if anyone even gets to the end of it. But uh, if you would please like, like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Bow, bow, bow. Falling back here, does it cause any issues? I don't know. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> I'm weird.